Mr. Crackle. What's that? Hold on now. Oh, hello, everybody. It's a Schmil coming at you. I'm in the damn grocery store with Daddy. Uh, me and Pickle Rick. What in the hell? Uh, let me let you see my scenery. Oh, yeah. There's a couple of deer out there. I don't know if you can see them. I don't even feel like dragging no deer out of here to tell you the truth. So I figured I'd tell you a story. Maybe he'll run on. <laughs> no, no, it's just a little doe. If it was a damn buck, I'd be in solid mode. Anyway, I was sitting here thinking, man, um, I'm like, you know, nowadays I hear about guys having girlfriends and, uh, well, because I have boys. I got three boys, and all their friends have girlfriends at such young ages. And uh, when I went and stayed with my mom in New Jersey, man, them girls was... They was frisky. And uh, you could have your girlfriend young. But where I grew up at, Bo, it will not like that. Them girls was just like you. They weren't interested in... Well, hold on. They were not interested in us, their age. How about that? I remember uh, when I first started taking interest to girls, it was uh, a girl named Rosalind. Now, Rosalind, she lived uh, very close to uh, to where I'm from, but not, not close enough that I could see her every day. You know, I'd only really see her at school or like if I went deer hunting. You know, we'd, uh, I'd hunt the hunting club and we'd skin deer at her uh, her uh, granddad's house. So, uh, and I'd see her then, but uh, most of the time, the only time I see her was at school. Man. Something about that girl, Bo, just had me, uh, I liked her. When I say liked her, I don't mean, I was not sexually attracted to her. I just liked being around her. You know, she could run real fast. She, uh, she, I just liked the way she talked. I liked the way she had her hair. I liked how she didn't take no shit. I mean, she reminded me of my damn self. And that's what I mean when I say I like her. I just like being around her. But I, you know, and sometimes I see her at church, you know, because the church was across the street from where I lived. And I, they, like when they had special functions, she'd be out there. And uh, I expressed to her, like, most of the time I seen her was in the cafeteria at school. I used to hate carrying them damn trays to the table. I can't tell you why. I just don't like carrying their damn tray of groceries nowhere. Especially in front of a whole bunch of people. That's the schmill weirdness. But uh, I'd be in the cafeteria and they say, Is this your sister? That's what the cafeteria lady would say. And I'd say, No, that ain't my sister. I'd be like, No, that ain't my sister. That's my girl. That's what I would think to myself. But I didn't say nothing out loud. I was kind of bashful about that. Uh, then one day, after uh, at, they were at a function at church and they were walking home. It was Rosalind, her cousin, and uh, so I'm walking beside her. I said, Rosalind, I just, had, man, I was just feeling froggy that day. I said, Rosalind, you know what? I said, I really like you. And she said, well, Randolph, I like you too. I said, what? I said, well, you think me and you could uh, hold hands sometimes? She said, hell no. I said, what? I thought you liked me. She said, I do like you. But I ain't wanting to be your girlfriend if that's what you think. First of all, if you think any girl is going to ever want to get to know, get to like you and be your girlfriend, you need to take your damn, take a damn shower sometimes and not be so damn dirty all the damn time. I said, what in the hell? I looked at myself. I said, oh, shit, I've been working my ass off all day. What the fuck are you talking about? And she, when she said that, I said, well, damn. To hell with you then. That's what I told her. I, was, I went the other way. And uh, over the years, bro, that thing, I always thought about that. You know? And I see her with these older fellas. And I used to get pissed off, you know. I said, damn, you know. 
She likes these older boys. What they got that I ain't got? You know, I used to think that to myself. And then I realized, I said, well, they got, they got cars, they got jobs. And I reckon they take a damn shower and put on some sweet clothes to wrap to the ladies. But I'm glad that that happened that way because I ain't never been no uh, dine and wine Romeo uh, How Art Thou type fella. And uh, that's just... Uh -oh. And another thing, I'm glad she didn't tell me she liked me because she was my damn second cousin. Let me get down from this damn grocery store. I hope. I'm not a man, I'm not a man, I'm not a man.